I think the most important transition that needs to happen is the transition from uh, outsourcing destination to a set of product companies. And I believe for obvious reasons, this will unlock far more pot our potential and leverage the potential that we have. Uh, and I think that down the road, if we employ and create more products, I think this will help all the other industries in Bulgaria because technology can be the backbone of all other industries. They can have a lot of different competitive advantages that they don't have today using that technologies. How, what is needed to get there and how we help. The most important thing for that transition is significantly improving the understanding for innovation, the understanding of product management, the understanding of product marketing. And we, as part of the ecosystem, and as, as one of the biggest uh, product development companies in Bulgaria, I think that we are positioned to experiment and advance a lot of the knowledge in those fields. And we are ready to share it. We are ready to collaborate with each and every company here because at the end of the day, we are not competitors and we can do better together. Uh, these times right now requires building better and stronger partnership between uh, the stakeholders in the ecosystem. Uh, and it's a, it's a great time to position, to continue positioning Bulgaria on the world uh, uh, map as uh, uh, a country that, uh, that can uh, deliver high quality innovative products. Uh, it's the uh, it's best time to uh, also to become more attractive for entrepreneurs all around the world. And I think, uh, uh, well, it's, it's maybe too early, but uh, uh, we've discussed this before on different forums. I'm a strong believer that uh, the first Bulgarian unicorn is on the way. Probably not this year, not next year, but in the next five years, there's a great uh, opportunity that uh, you will have a Bulgarian, to have a Bulgarian unicorn. And uh, I think uh, the, the essence of the local, the local ecosystem is that we need to, to, to partner to each other, work together. And uh, we have a lot of uh, smart people. We've learned a lot last uh, 20 years how to do high quality software. So the seeds are there. Now we shall start bearing the fruits. When I dream of the future of Bulgaria, I envision in 10 years a world-class technology hub leading the region in innovation, entrepreneurship, and social sustainability. At Bulgaria Innovation Hub, we support the entrepreneurs, the dreamers and doers who dare to dream big, innovate, inspire, and drive positive change in their communities. Thank you and stay inspired, my friends. Occasionally, uh, what is not taught at universities is the push to innovate. I mean, a part of our education system is um, basically um, be careful to study what you're taught to do and kind of give it back. And it's not the way to innovate products, right? I mean, you, you need to be more of, uh, uh, in Israel, there is, a, wonderful word about it, it's called huspa, right? I mean, when you are so passionate about what you want to create, that uh, you basically disengage from all the boundaries and you start creating it. And you start in, you know, inflaming more people and pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. So it's a you know, combination of, um, of, of an educational system. We need to be able to get more entrepreneurs, more product guys, you know, kind of inject them back to the educational system and also um, just believe in ourselves, right? And we have enough capacity to do that as a as, um, as country right now. An entrepreneur is someone who is risk taker. So this is a kind of a special breed of people. <laughs> uh, and um, it, I think it doesn't matter what's the reality right now. The entrepreneur is someone who is like, you know, going out there, hustling, talking to people, making mistakes, not being afraid, you know, to <laughs> promise something that is not there yet. And it's just another set of variables right now that we're dealing with, but the skills are exactly the same. So this exploration that the founder needs to do in the very early days of starting a business, the, the mindset and the approach is uh, exactly the same. So uh, I, I, I think we all know this mantra, like, don't be afraid to make mistakes or like, um, don't point fingers at people who failed the company or bankrupted or own money to other people. It, this is actually a positive thing. This is a learning lesson that if we were kind of uh, a society that would kind of uh, understand the 
values uh, out of this uh, and be more supportive. I would think this uh, would encourage more people to feel more comfortable to take these steps. And we need um, this entrepreneurial mindset because um, this, this is the kind of the spark that uh, drives, you know, the whole humanity uh, to solve our problems, to think of uh, better ways to live. In my opinion, crisis was always opportunity. This means that what we are working now on is really to think where the future areas will be, where we can have a new opportunities and where we can push in order to get out stronger of the, out of the crisis than we was before. However, it is challenging. I mean, it is challenging and we have to see how to formulate this opportunity and how to push for this opportunity because uh, in many areas uh, like the communication, collaboration, workspace, office management, all these things, we are facing completely new environment. And now we have to check how to deal with this new environment towards all the use cases, which luckily are part of our portfolio. And this could be one of the opportunities that we have, for example, because we have a strong collaboration business, which was started to grow now in the crisis much more than before. And all these things we have to face now, and we are working really day and night on that to find what is our strategy and what are the next activities and the concrete tasks that we have to perform in order to get the crisis this opportunity. Figure out, uh, uh, figure out uh, what has uh, uh, what has changed in the market, and figure out where you have the biggest growth opportunity. My sole focus is uh, on finding growth opportunities across the different verticals. Because I think they're uh, something that used to be like a small crack in the market. Now, due to the tectonic shifts, maybe a much bigger opportunity. And uh, us as founders, we're always looking at the bigger opportunities. And sometimes we miss uh, something smaller that has now become uh, bigger. What is very important right now, and pretty much we also discuss this with the business. Now, it is uh, one of the most important uh, things is to not to allow this current crisis to uh, you know to destroy everything we have achieved in the last six eight years because in the last six eight years in sofia we had a very good uh, economic development we already have a full-grown startup ecosystem you know like accelerators incubators 15 venture capital funds we started repositioning our destination from pure outsourcing destination to destination where products and solutions with global applications are crafted and uh, invented and uh, developed we started to be a destination that attracts r d uh, operation so now our really common goal is to not allow all this to be uh, really uh, destroyed so now we as a city uh, uh, we are going to be very active to uh, support uh, the innovative ecosystem for example city to be an active uh, market creator to use local companies uh, whenever uh, possible whenever we have uh, uh, local solutions our focus will remain particularly on disruptive early stage technology enterprises, which typically face financing challenges, but also provide outstanding investment opportunities. In the Southeast uh, European region, the VC market is maturing and showing potential to become one of the hot hubs for, innovative, for innovation in Europe. So innovative entrepreneurs across the region remain underfinanced and far from achieving their full market potential. So here we see a tremendous potential in the continued and further improvement cooperation between public and private players in the region, both at the national and regional level. And it will be crucial to effectively respond to evolving market demands. My vision for Bulgaria is that it is an entrepreneurial place. Now that everything is going online, the borders and the distance of Bulgaria from some of the center of Europe and the rest of the world has become way diminished. With its great IT skills, it can connect companies from the rest of the world to innovation, entrepreneurship and societal solutions. There are some great companies 
there are some great uh, networks like Campus X, just to name one, um, where entrepreneurs can develop these new solutions. Bulgarian people are very resilient. They are, have a long history and they have a big future. In 2030, Bulgaria will be a prestigious and attractive place for living where free-minded and creative people will develop high-tech products with respect to nature, human and traditions. I truly believe this. In order to achieve it, uh, we need today to unite the energy of the talented and the creative. Those are digital entrepreneurs and scientists, the brave artists and the people that are dedicated to restoring the lost ecological balance. In MOVEPG, we are tracing the path for this future seven years now. We are building an environment for validation of the models and solutions for success in the 21st century by inspiring and connecting the seekers and the innovators, the people who create our prosperous future today. Some of our programs dedicated to these missions are Edit, uh, Changemakers and City Jungle. Join us. You definitely need investment to, uh, to scale social innovation. And uh, it's great to see the, uh, the startup, it's not even a sector, let's say a sphere, because it includes many, many sectors uh, as a really active part of our um, business life. And what, what we would like to see, of course, is to have a similar thing, either a similar thing for a more socially oriented project, or actually, building these social elements in the startup sector itself. Because one approach would be, let's separate on one side business innovation and put on the other side social innovation and see how they figure it out separately. Another thing would be, let's see how we can infuse more this lively startup sector. Our vision is simple, a European future of prosperity. The only question is how quickly that future will happen. For it to happen quicker, we need togetherness. Togetherness within ourselves, more tolerance for each other's differences, and togetherness with the rest of our European and worldwide families. And we also need diversity. Bulgaria has always been home to people from all across the world, and we need to remain welcoming to different people from every, anywhere and all walks of life to succeed here with the growth that awaits us. And while we believe that this vision will come very soon, we also hope that the things that we love about Bulgaria will never change. The people, the nature, the abundance of opportunity. We chose this place over many others to live here because it's a paradise on earth. And we want to stay here and help the local community become more empathetic, more creative, more agile in the face of business as unusual. We love you, Bulgaria.